after lunch, they spot a sign. It says, Whale and Dolphin Show Today. Hooray, the whales at last, says brother. Hooray, the dolphins at last, says sister. And they're so happy. The show begins. The dolphins jump and leap and spin. The trainer tells them to do tricks. And the bears clap and clap. A whale leaps out of the water and the trainer feeds him. And the bears clap and clap and clap. What a show. The trainer asks brother and sister to help. Sister tells a dolphin to leap and brother feeds a fish to the whale. The whale and the dolphin make a big splash and the family gets all wet. Splash, yells honey, and they laugh and laugh and laugh. The end. Well, thank you, Miss Lynn. That was marvelous. And here's Miss Michelle. Get back a little bit. Okay, how's this? That's good enough. Okay, all right. Come on, where's Miss Michelle? Come on, Miss Michelle. Miss Michelle! I'm coming. Sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention. And our last story is Raccoon Tune, and this is by Nancy Shaw, and it's illustrated by Howard Fine. Raccoon Tune. Moonlight, June night, just right for raccoon night. I'm having a hard time turning the pages here. Out we creep while people sleep. Soon we hope to find a heap of cheese and breadcrumbs piled deep on codfish bones and beef. to the backyard. Deep in bins we always forge, clanking tins we find in storage, apple skins and maple porridge, broccoli and sweets. Ash cans, trash cans, how we love to crash cans, mash and smash and bash cans. We'll get that lid to pop. We have to throw it at the fence. People should have common sense. There would be so many dents if they'd leave off the top. This lid is on a little tight. We'll have to put up quite a fight. We'll pull and pull and pull with all our might. But nothing gives until... We grab the can and try to spin it. The top comes off. Look what's in it. Oh no! It's rolling down the hill! We thought we saw some cake with cream, or was that just a hungry dream? Oh no, it's getting away. It's rolling fast and gathering steam. We run, we dash. <laughs> Poor little frogs don't know what's coming at them. A clunk, a splash. Our tasty trash is falling in the stream. And look at the poor frogs. <laughs> Dive right in and grab it quick. Teamwork ought to do the trick. Hook a handle, poke a stick. At last, we pull it out. Oh, my whiskers, how do you wish? The can is full of flopping fish. A super duper supper dish. We'll have 
a feast of trout. Lots of fish. Moonlight, June night, just right for raccoon night. Not too, not, not too dark, not too bright. When we are dining out. And that is the end. And, well, Marvin, Marvin, where are you? Marvin, 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 Marvin. We've got to find Marvin. Where are you, Marvin? Marvin, story hour is over. Where are you, Marvin? Wake up, Marvin. 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 What? What? Story hour is over. It's over. Well, I missed it. Well, shucks. Well, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed Miss Betsy, Miss Lynn, and our wonderful story hour. I'm sorry I fell asleep. But remember, we've got a neat craft activity coming up, and you can pick up your craft kits at the library, and that'll be coming up real soon. And remember, we have to do the antler dance. Ready? And. Antlers. Antlers. Oh, and I forgot the kid joke of the day. Do you know what you call a dinosaur that sleeps? A dinosaur. <laughs> I, I thought it was a good one. Well, until next time, bye, boys and girls. Ha, cha, cha, cha. Bye. Yeah.